What is up all of you awesome and amazing people on YouTube? The old coot here coming at you with another exciting video. This happens to be the Zule Kitchens potato ricer. This is the stainless steel model. If you're looking for something that's a little more durable, maybe something that's going to go through a lot more wear and tear, you're going to be doing a lot of potatoes through here or, you know, the like similar. You're going to be making like Italian passatelli or you're going to be making spatzel, like your own version of spatzel. There you go. Perfect. Here is their company story right? What they're all about and all that good stuff. You want to go ahead and take your screenshot and there you go. There you go. There's the idea. There's Aaron, the co-founder of Zule Kitchen. There you get the idea. Beautiful family right there. There you go. There's their story. Here's uh, some social media stuff. If you want that phone numbers, leave a review. You get the idea. Connect with us. Very well-designed products. I have to say I've done their lemon squeezer, easy peasy lemon squeezy, which was very well constructed. I also did one of their milk frothers and the same very well constructed. I used their milk frother to make an omelet basically. So very well construction, very good quality. For the quality of your getting at the low prices, there's definitely value in what you're purchasing here. So here's the ricer itself, right? Here you go. Here's this part. And you get like a little handle so you can hang this up or just something to rest against your pot, right? So as you're doing your potato ricing, you can either hold it in your hand or you can rest it against the pot. And you've got two silicone -y type grips here, which are very well contoured to the hand. So depending on how big or small your hands are, I'm sure with two hands, you can get a good grip on this if you had smaller hands or if you have bigger hands like I do, you can just do it this way and you get the idea. So here's uh, basically the inside of water, right? That's what the inside looks like. Very heavy duty stainless steel construction here. I can feel the weight and the quality in there and all that good stuff. And then here's your individual discs, which do come individually wrapped, by the way. So make sure you take them out of the plastic packaging when you get it give everything a nice good wash in warm water and some soap i like to use dawn dish soap i think it just cuts through all of this like machining grease during the process of manufacturing and all the good stuff usually when the factory sends it it's pretty clean i mean i don't feel any residue on here whatsoever but i would still go ahead and wash it in warm wa warm water and some you know dawn dish soap and then the like just to get that cleaned off here is uh once again the ricer itself so if you have small hands or bigger hands you kind of get the idea you can kind of do your spiel but basically to put one of these discs in it's easy as as ricing a potato you basically take your disc right it would be this side up and then you basically put it in there there's a little lip in there that catches it and then as you do your potato ricing you kind of get the idea and that's what it would look like uh through the through the other side or whatever so you kind of get the idea but very well constructed very nice uh, you know, patterns and all that good stuff. So you've got like a small, you've got a medium that's in there now, and then you've got your larger disc. And then here is the box. If you want to go ahead and take a look at what the box looks like. So Zule Kitchen Stainless Steel Potato Ricer. You kind of get the idea. There's the three sizes. Very accurate uh, product description photos on the box. There's your QR code, right? If you just want to go ahead and register your product and all that, uh, it'll pop up and then you can go ahead and use the link and whatever, go through the warranty, do the whole spiel, you know, when you bought it, how you bought it, a copy of the receipt, I think, or whatever they do. Uh, 400 milliliter capacity ricer, so they go three interchangeable discs. There you go, Sm smoothly mashes potatoes and other vegetables. There you go. Just make sure your vegetables are cooked, right? So make sure your potatoes are fully cooked through that. If you're going to go ahead and rice like some green beans or carrots or something similar, just you, you kind of want them like if you're going to be making your own baby food kind of a vibe, you know, going on, or you're going to use this, you know, what I would use this for is a uh, pulpetos, like uh, the, what is it? South American sausage where they mix in like meats and different vegetables and potatoes and that kind of stuff. That might be something that you, you might want to think about. So there you go. Stain and rust resistant, obviously, because it is stainless steel hanging hole for easy storage. That's basically what this is. So if you want to hang this up, I like to rest this just on the, on the edge of the, of the, you know, bowl or the pot or the pan that I'm, doing this with so that you have like one stable end and then basically you can press the other ones. you get the idea and then what else have we got here dishwasher safe easy to clean so you get the idea comfortable silicone grip so there's that here's this here's the back side of water again zile kitchen there's their story so you kind of get that you kind of get that there's their phone number social media and all that good stuff new item made in china the whole spiel anyways if you do like what you're seeing i do like zile kitchen's products i will continue to use them and do these videos if there's something that you want to see from them go ahead and comment down below i can't promise anything but i will try to acquire attain somehow get a hold of the product that you'd like me to test from zule kitchen put that in the comment section down there below and i'll see what i can do anyways i will put a link to this down in the description section so make sure to check that out also hit that comment section hit the like button hit the subscribe button and i will catch you all on the next exciting video